Hello you fish lovers. What would you like me to make for you right now? I feel like making fish and chips and um, it's simple, it's tasty and it's something that all of us like right from kids to the older ones and I have pomfret frites fillet with me and with that I'm going to make fish and chips. Chips I have already fried and kept. Let's make the batter for this. So I have fish fillet. So I'm going to marinate this with some lemon juice and some salt. So this is how you need to marinate it. And in this pan I've got oil which is getting heated because we're going to fry the fish. So here goes the fish on one side. In a bowl we need to break an egg. So here's the egg beaten and ready. And I need two plates. In one I'm going to take breadcrumbs. And the other I need to take refined flour. Refined flour we need to season with some salt and some pepper powder. You lift up the fish, dip it in flour. Just lightly dust it like this. Then this thing you dip it in the egg. After you have dipped it in the egg, you pick it up from the egg and put it in the plate with breadcrumbs. And with the other hand which is dry, just dab it like this. And it doesn't end here. After this, lift this up and put it back in the egg. And with your other hand, once again, breadcrumbs. So what happens is that you get a good coat over the fish and the chances of the breadcrumbs coming out while frying are absolutely zero. Let's do another piece. Pick up the fish. Dust it like this into the egg. So it goes into the flour just once. Like this and into this from the egg into the breadcrumbs. So this is how you need to coat the fish, whether you're doing fish and chips or fish fingers. So after we've coated the fish, just press it once again nicely. And now whatever excess breadcrumbs which are loose and not coated will come off in the oil. Doesn't matter. Make sure the temperature of the oil is not very low or else the fish will absorb the oil and it will become extremely oily. So oil has to be very hot. Of course not smoking hot because what will happen is you will get the colour and the fish will still be raw from inside. But it being pomfret, it cooks really fast because the meat is quite tender. So you're gonna have some tartar sauce. Tartar sauce is basically mayonnaise along with chopped gherkins, some olives. I've also put in some jalapenos. And now in this, you just have to very carefully. Yeah, that's it. This will take some more time. And once that's done, we are gonna serve the fish along with some French fries. Like I said, the French fries are already done. You just take some and pile it up here. Well, in case if you want to know how to make French fries, you can always watch my video where I have shown you how to make French fries right from scratch. I want it a little darker in colour, so I'm going to flip it once again and cook the other side again. But since we had coated the fish twice, you see that the coating is so firm and the fish when you cut is just going to be perfect. And how do you check if the fish is done in case if you don't want to break open the fish? You can just take a knife and pierce it at the thickest part of the fish. If the knife goes in easily, if it slides in easily, 
which means the fish is cooked. And while putting the knife in, if you feel that it is not going in easily, which means the fish is still raw. This looks like it's done. But however, I would like to keep it in the oil for another few more seconds. Let's remove this from the oil. And before you plate it, just keep it on a tissue paper for it to absorb excess oil. Firm, it's crisp and it's done. All you have to do is pick it up, keep it on the plate, serve tartar sauce and that's it. Don't wait, just dig in and enjoy fish and chips. This is my recipe especially for you. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe and also comment.